Hey everybody, what's up? Now, this is going to be my review for Captain America Civil War. Okay, so basically like I do with my other movie reviews, what I'm going to do with this one is basically just list the pros and cons that I have of the movie. And basically discuss things that I thought worked and things that I don't think worked. Okay, so first and foremost, I think that the number one thing that did work in this movie was the tone. Um, now, the tone of this movie is actually brilliant in the sense that, like, I actually think that this is probably the darkest Marvel movie, like, ever, and the best of the Captain America movies because it goes very real world on you. Now, what I mean by real world is that basically, like, a lot of, uh, issues and like things that are discussed throughout this movie are very grounded like um, for the first half of this movie it basically talks about like the government's plan to basically control the Avengers and how like um that one uh, general from uh, Incredible Hulk um, what's his name Thunderbolt Ross he's actually in this movie and like he um, basically talks to all the Avengers and he's like, look, you guys have made a lot of mistakes. The things that you guys have done have cost a lot of lives. Yes, you may have been trying to save the world, but like, you know, we can't take this anymore. You need to be kept under control. And that is basically the thing that um, uh, pits Iron Man and Captain America against each other. Now granted, yeah, that does kind of follow a similar um, plot point that was in uh, Captain America Winter Soldier like how Captain America basically has to go outside the law because, you know, he doesn't, you know, agree with it. But yeah, anyway, the tone in this movie was brilliantly pulled off. Um, let's see here. Uh, another thing that was pulled off very, very well was the acting. Pretty much everybody in this movie does a good job, which isn't really surprising since they've been playing these characters for so long. But I do want to kind of touch on the new characters in this movie, the new uh, heroes uh, that were added. First, let's talk about the one that I'm pretty sure everybody was looking forward to, and that's Tom Holland as Spider-Man. He nailed it in this movie. Tom Holland was fucking brilliant as Spider-Man. He captured the badassery, the smartassness, and really just the funny side of Spider-Man. Now, as for him as Peter Parker, eh, I, I don't really think he was as nerdy as he should have been as Peter Parker. Like, he doesn't wear glasses or anything. And, by the way, the actress they picked to play Aunt May didn't look the right age. And, um, also, uh, his costume I'm sorry, but like Spider-Man's costume in this movie looks super fake. It looks noticeably CGI. Now I don't know if it was or not, but I mean, like the shots of him swinging around, like he it looks so much like he's CGI. Now I don't know if Tom Holland was wearing a motion capture suit on set or what, but I hated the way the costume looked. Now there is only one shot. One shot where it does look real, like like a shot when he's just standing still, but every other shot, like when he's moving around, looks so fake. And another thing that was good in the movie was um, the action. Uh, the action to this movie is brilliant. It's very intense, very well choreographed, but not exactly very well shot. Like, um... There's one um, action scene, uh, this chase scene that you probably saw in the trailer, it's kind of at the beginning. I'm sorry, that chase scene was terribly filmed. I mean, there are obviously action scenes in other movies that are far worse filmed, but like that one chase scene that was in the trailer, you know, with um, uh, Black Panther, um, uh, Bucky, and uh, Captain America. It, it, there's a couple too many shaky cam shots in there, I'm sorry. Now, as for my cons with the movie, um, probably the two biggest cons that I have in this movie are um, the ending and the villain. The ending to this movie 
kind of underwhelmed me in the sense that like I didn't it, it, it didn't end the way I expected it to and that the ending was pretty predictable in the sense that like um if you've seen the other Marvel movies you probably know how this movie's gonna end and it just really felt like a cop out and as for the villain uh, the villain in this movie is basically just another Red Skull, but not exactly the same as Red Skull. He's basically just another another Hydra guy with an accent who doesn't really... He's not really that interesting. I mean, granted, he, his motivation in this movie is very clear, but I just didn't find him all that memorable like other Marvel villains. And listen, okay... I know this may sound like blasphemy to some fans, but I honestly think the best Marvel villain we've had so far is Ultron. But anyway, yeah, that was my review for Captain America Civil War. See you guys later. Bye.